It's been over three months since a deadly machete attack at the House of Mercy, and now that homeless shelter is being sued by a former resident who was attacked that day. Ericetta Costa has been following the story and joins us in the studio with more. Ericetta. Good evening, Teresa. And that person who filed the lawsuit is Cameron Schuler, former resident who was attacked that night. He and his attorneys with Morgan and Morgan allege the shelter knew or had reason to know residents were in danger hours before the attack. 40-year-old Nathaniel John Peer III, who resided at the shelter, is charged with the August murder of Michael Neri and the assault on Schuler. The lawsuit dated November 10th, is filed against both the shelter and John Pier III. It alleges the shelter had knowledge of possible harm the day of the attack. The lawsuit reads, according to police investigations, during the day of the attack, John Pier called an employee at the shelter and told them he was going to Walmart to purchase a machete and to kill people. According to police, John Pierre allegedly entered the shelter later that night with a large knife, ultimately killing one resident and brutally injuring Schuler. Now, the shelter closed down for three months and has been working with state officials to improve overall operations. The House of Mercy says in a statement they cannot comment on the pending litigation, but they also say they continue to prioritize safety of guests, volunteers, and employees as they move forward in their mission to serve the homeless community. Through Freedom of Information requests, we obtained an incident report from the Office of Temporary and Disability Assistance saying the attacker was stabbing and hitting Schuler, leaving cuts to Schuler's left arm and head. The report says one of the shelter monitors on duty screamed when she saw what was happening, ran into the bathroom with another employee where they called 911. It goes on to say police arrived quickly, to which the attacker then threw the machete down and laid on the floor face down. For now, in the studio, Erica Cost, News 8. Erica, thank you. The lawsuit also points to negligent security at the shelter. When it opened last week, when it reopened last week, it had a new security system in place. We're told that was made possible by an anonymous donor. You can find coverage of that shelter reopening on our website, rochesterfirst.com.